In these problems, we're looking at relative frequencies from contingency tables. And contingency tables are charts like this where it usually breaks a group down into some subgroups. Here it's broken uh, people down into their genders, female and male, and then uh, breaks them down along another category, and in this case into their majors in college. So you can see how many males and females are in each major at some school. They're telling us the sample size here is 290, so all of these boxes add up to 290. And they're asking, what is the relative frequency of biology majors in the sample? And uh, the calculation here is pretty simple. You just have to find all the biology majors. There are male and female biology majors, so you have to add those two together. And that would be, of course, 46. And then the relative frequency, you just divide by the sample size. So divide by 290. So 46 divided by 290, that's 0.158 something, and they want two decimal places, so we'll call this 0.16. Let's try another one like this. So in this one, we have a sample of 476 people, and they are broken down by their place of residence, so urban, suburban, and rural, and the, the highest degree they earn in college, no college, two-year, four-year, or advanced degree. This time the question is, what is the relative frequency of people in the sample whose place of residence is urban and who have an advanced degree? So we'd go across urban, down advanced degree, we'd find there are 42 that satisfy both of those. And the relative frequency there would be just that number, 42, divided by the sample size, 476. So 42 divided by 476 and we want two decimal places, so that's going to be 0 0.09. So that's a little bit of work with relative frequencies from contingency tables.